It's becoming a far too common sight. Videos like these showing electric scooters and cars catching on fire, then spreading into chaos. Since the start of June, Scottsdale Fire says they've recorded several large fires involving lithium ion batteries. At the end of July, we had 37 incidences that were reported to this database, one fatality, two injuries, and uh, 17 of those were, were house fires. Not only do these fires take up lots of resources. A lot of electric vehicle fires that we're having are really time consuming. It takes a lot of water to put them out. They can also be extremely toxic. Uh, lithium batteries are our, unfortunately becoming our new hazmat for our hazmat teams. When these things off gas, the off gassing is toxic and you'll see that white cloud come up initially and that white cloud usually goes somewhere so it takes a lot of hazmat teams to monitor the area. That's why Scottsdale Fire and other agencies are putting a new technology to the test by lighting this car on fire just to put it out with a fire blanket. We are doing clean hay and pallets inside the vehicle. The blanket is designed by a company in Norway and it can handle up to 4,500 degrees Fahrenheit. So this car fire blanket is made of graphite. It comes at the steep price upward of $3,000, but can be used many times thanks to a special coating that makes it highly resistant to flames. The shelf life of the car fire blanket is 10 years and it can be reused up to 30 times. All firefighters have to do is lay the blanket over the car, wait, and make sure the flame is out. Another tool in the toolbox, right? That's what we're looking for. If it's another tool in the toolbox that we can use to take out and throw over this car, uh, say it's off-gassing, right, and this blanket covers it, well, we've just stopped that off-gassing from going into a, a, a mall or, or a residential area. That's huge for us, so we want to see if this works. And if you have rechargeable lithium batteries, you'll want to make sure you're not charging them for too long because they can overheat, causing those fires. You'll also want to make sure that they're not bulging or emitting a weird smell. If they are, you want to recycle them. Don't throw them away. In Phoenix, Michaela Castillo for Arizona's Family. Michaela, thank you so much.